Been on small planes, went to the Amazon jungle a few times, Bolivia, seen a baby get kicked, had lunch in the middle of the world's biggest soul flats, Canada, Peru three or four times, can't really remember, played with monkeys. <laughs> Man, he smells the shaft stick. <laughs> I've been to Cuba, got to watch Salitas wrestling in Bolivia, did some volunteer work in Haiti with my boy Mike. Seen some pretty interesting rituals of Santeria, but there's one thing I always wanted to do, but never got the chance. When it comes to Puerto Rico, there's only three things everybody wants to do. Go to the beach, visit El Moro, and visit La Perla San Juan. But me, all I ever wanted to do was... So we just arrived in Puerto Rico. This is gonna be my first Christmas in Puerto Rico. Spend with Melissa and my dad in the back. And I'm pretty excited. It has actually always been a dream of mine to spend a Christmas in Puerto Rico. So I finally get to do that at the age of 31. Check this out guys, in most airplanes you don't have to bring a pillow with you because the seat actually has a pillow built into the headrest. Temperatura actual de Nueva York. En Nueva York, la temperatura actual es de 0 grados. <laughs> Se estará frisando todo el mundo. Te vas a tomar la temperatura, ok? A little bit of flan, a little bit of drinking. Pop's got the munchies. That's somebody's house. That's crazy. Oh, a whole bunch of Coca Cola trucks. It is something to do with Christmas. And in today's episode, we find out why did the chicken cross the road? So one good thing about living all the way up here is the views that you get with like the mountains in the background and all that jazz. If you're into that sort of stuff. Look at the little horsey. That's how they fix bridges in PR. They just make them smaller and put a barricade around. So we're about to go to the Bioluminescent Bay. And right now there is an alien flying in the background, as you guys can see there. And it, they always spoke about aliens here, so there goes one alien right there. And tell me, what's a trip to Puerto Rico without eating any empanadas? I was unable to record too many shots of the bioluminescent bay because my camera wasn't good enough to pick up how when you jump in the water everything glows in the dark, but you just have to take my word for it. Look how freaky these holes look. They're like perfectly aligned. Let me show you guys this cool dog. His name is Brandon and his owners actually abandoned him. And um, he's got the shakes on one of his legs. We're gonna try to figure out what's wrong with him so we can fix him up. Brandon! See that leg shaking back there? Man, the sunsets over here are absolutely gorgeous. Here in Puerto Rico, I would say everybody pretty much has a garden. Here's a female papaya tree right there, as you guys can see. Why is it female? Because the, only the females uh, give birth. You guys was in the back. The back is the most interesting part because there they have pineapples. Oh, no way. Wow. Yummy. <laughs> oh, wow. See, I didn't even see none of that stuff. Oh, oh okay, 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 okay. Coconut. Coconuts. Monte. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the plantains. So that had a whole bunch of them, but he's been picking at them little by little. Lemongrass. Mm. Lemongrass. Got it. Don't let go. <laughs> Snap peas, right? <laughs> spicy, spicy, spicy. ¿Y por qué estas están amarillas así y estas no? Porque esta todavía no se ha madurado. Ah. Y si por esta se comen verde. Ah, tienes que grabar la mata de haba. My uncle Franco is going to start his own chocolate business. <laughs> no, I, which with cacao right como, there. Como cinco palos. Mira. No, no más. No la comes así. You know. Got some pumpkin there. Juice lemon tree. Cranberry. Cranberry tree. And here we have Brandon just hanging out. Still waiting for his master to come back to him. Hey buddy, you still waiting for your master to come back? Who would abandon this dog? Oregano. Toys that we grew up playing with, so the bed that we used to sleep on back in the days. Oh, check this toy out. 
Hulk Hogan. And then I don't know who this guy is, but I'm pretty sure he's pretty popular and I probably knew who he was at some point. So. Oh my. I recorded you putting a pencil. <laughs> I have to go back for my hat because the sun is killing me. This place is pretty cool to come to, but it is extremely slippery, so somewhat dangerous. My pops didn't make it uh, too far out. So you guys can see, you guys can actually swim here. There's a little beach area back there also that we passed by. But we came here specifically looking for a uh, rock, as funny as that may sound, it's a big ass stone. And supposedly it's a beautiful view. And yeah, that's a pit bull plane fetching the water. You guys can see people out here barbecuing, barbacoa. Barbecue is actually a Taino word. It was called barbacoa, so originated here somewhere in the Caribbean islands with the uh, Tainos. Mountains in the background and everything. Wow. So I might have to be bougie and actually count that as a waterfall because I don't think we're gonna have enough time to get to all the waterfalls with the amount of time that we've been spending on the solar grid. So I might count that little waterfall as a little waterfall. This wild grass here, this actually cuts your skin. If you pass by it too fast, it's, it's like a paper cut. It'll just slice you up. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos like this and I'll see you guys on the next one. My name's Ruben Lopez and I'm from New York, son.